Around the same time that he discovered fire and he bent at the wheel, man was affixing wax and feathers to his arms to fly like the birds. Man took to the sky in hot air balloons and drifted in the winds. In the 1500s, Leonardo da Vinci designed the first rough plans for rotary wing or helicopter flight. Otto Lilienthal, Otto's namesake, toured the skies and gliders, and from his plans, the brothers Orville and Wilbur Wright perfected power flight 106 years ago in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and not too long after that, naval aviation was born. Today, flying a magnificent flying machine is your autopilot, Roger Baez, demonstrating that helicopters can fly just like an airplane. Roger, you uh, gave us a real good flight demo earlier, but it looks like you just flew a completely backwards traffic pattern. Is that right? Yeah, okay, buddy. Well, you must have had your flight manual upside down there like Kent Peach did earlier. I understand you're about to show us the most difficult maneuver in the air show business. All right, and they say that to fly is heavenly, to hover is divine. Can you two go and hover at the same time? How about blow a bubble? All right, working all the flight controls, all five of them, collective throttle, two pedals and a cyclic. Imagine standing out in the bay on a beach ball. Auto, you got it going. Looking good there, buddy. Nice photo op, folks. Uh, looking good. What do you think, Rob? I think he just blew the bubble up. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rob just happened to tell the auto that you cheated, okay? You were using a balloon instead of bubble gum. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, the kids know it's wrong to cheat and fib, right? So you better fess up and tell the truth, right? You were, yeah, okay, well, I do commend your honesty. I understand you've got an autopilot up there to help you fly, and that's O-T-T-O. -T -T okay, got it. All right, well, how about some hell of Smoke's on, and as Rob said earlier, this is a paraffin-based, 10-weight, real fine oil, sponsored by CJ Aviation out of Miami, Florida. And look at that, kick it around, it's a hammerhead. And with a real calm wind, it looks like he's gonna draw us a smiley face in the sky. And kick it, that maneuver, folks, is called a return to buddy. No? <laughs> okay, well I'll make it a little harder. How about a square loop? Alright, for this maneuver to be a square loop, the track that Otto makes in the sky must form a perfect square. He's going to set up for favorable winds. I think we got about a 10 knot ground wind or surface wind as they call it. And coming in. Smoke on. Straight across Air Show Center. That'd be a pretty picture there behind the blues. We recently had Blue Angel number five, Nate Miller, Major Nate Miller, visit our school in Crestview, Shoal River Middle School, and straight up on the second leg, straight across the top. I still see some Geico sky typing up there. We got a smoke-filled sky and very few clouds. Look at that. He's going straight across the top, but that boy's flying backwards. 90 miles an hour, buddy! You need a P2 P2 tube out the tether end. And straight down to the ground. See the ground, miss the ground. That's the ticket to success in the air show business. Coming out right where you went in. Otto, that was fabulous, but not exactly a square loop. So don't get too excited up there. Yeah, well, I did say straight across the top, but I meant upside down like an airplane. You don't do upside down like an airplane. <laughs> okay, how about a four-point roll? No? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you're getting the big head now. Is that too easy for you? Yeah, okay. Well, then let's make it an eight-point roll. How many of you kids out there today can count to eight? I can. All right. Well, thank you, Rob. We're going to need some help with this one. For this maneuver to be legal, auto must stop at each of the eight clock angles in the sky. Uh, not exactly. 
exactly what I had in mind. I did say eight clock angles, but I meant while rolling over like an airplane. No? <laughs> okay, well, I guess you egg beaters think you can do anything, don't you? Rob, what's he doing? I think he's turning his back on you a little bit. Yeah, and he's puffing some smoke at us, and I'm not talking rude, crude, social oil, smoke oil, I'm talking social manners there. <laughs> is it because I called you an egg beater? Well, you do sort of look like one, you know. It, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's not nice to call each other names. That's called bullying. I'm sorry, Otto. Come on down. The show must go on. Forgive and forget. Rob, see if you can talk him into it. All, all right, all right, he's got his head on straight now. Okay, come on down. What's he up to now? Smoke's on. Is he going to do another square loop? Is he going to do another hammerhead? What's he up to? He's up, he's up, tail feathers down. Oh my goodness. He slid backwards on his tail. It's a tail swine, oh! And nose down, tail up. That's a reverse tail slide and a smiley face in the sky. All right, Otto, that's looking good. Let's give it up for him, guys. Man, that is good. I'm telling you, Rob. Sorry to interrupt your lunch there, but uh, we're having a lot of fun up here. Who said this clowning around wasn't serious business? Hey, Otto, you have been acting like a kid. Why don't you uh, come on down? I just happen to have a 55-pound helicopter-sized Batteries not included, some assembly required. Yo-yo, can you work a yo-yo? <laughs> How many of you kids can yo-yo? Give me a wave out there. Yeah. All right, do they make yo-yo video games nowadays? I don't know. How many of you ladies are here with a yo-yo? Did I say that, Rob? Uh, you're here with a yo-yo, that's me right now. Oh, Rob, I didn't mean it. does not have opposable thumbs. He is quite a character. He's going to have to get some help from his autopilot. Roger's going to have to get out of the cockpit, lock all the controls down, friction them down as they say, and hook up the yo-yo to an FAA-approved 337 form yo-yo hook. I think we're the only aircraft in the nation that has such a creature. No kidding? The only one? The only one. Wow. Had a Cobra pilot once tell us and an Apache pilot that they had a yo-yo with them, but I think they were talking about the co-pilot. Not nice. No. <laughs> So he's actually going to try to make a yo-yo work? Yeah, it's a demonstration of a helicopter short line work, actually. They keep the uh, string or the rope, if you will, right underneath the aircraft. It simulates a lot of the things that helicopters do in real life 101. And it uh, looks like he didn't uh, pick up his toys last time he played with it there, Rob. He's uh, doing a turn about, turn about a point maneuver, which helicopter pilots do train. Winding it up. It's a... Uh, it's made to look real easy out there with Roger at the controls, but it's really quite difficult. Helicopters do not have very even control surfaces, and uh, even a little wind will play havoc with them. Okay, Otto, 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 uh, fix your steely eyes upon it now. Get serious. Focus, buddy. Focus. Oh, boy. Look at that. We have liftoff. All right. Nice. Been there, buddy. Give it a whirl. Keep it going. Officially ground your yo-yo now, Terra Firma, bring it on down. All right, I have got a contest for you and you alone out there now, bud. Rob, do you think he can handle a barrel race? You know something, I'll, I bet you he can, and I'm going to get my timer ready so we can actually check it out and see how fast he can, uh, All right, we'll he can do it. We'll start his time as he crossed the line. 14 seconds is the world record. And here we go. We're watching it. All right, nice tight turn around the first barrel. Pushing 190 horses, five seconds. Coming around, we've got 10 seconds. All right. The helicopter's been called the horse of the modern-day air cab since Vietnam. Fifteen seconds, Rob said. Oh, no! Barrel down! Barrel down! We have a...
a barrel down. Too bad, so sad. Better luck next time. What do you think, Rob? Well, you know, I. Well, you know what? I think you ought to put pick it up and put it back the way it was. Yeah, Rob just said auto. Got, yeah, pick it up, put it back the way it was. Come on. Yeah, messed up. Practice makes perfect, you know, but we don't have time for you to try it again, so just put it back the way it was. What's he up to now, Rob? I'm not sure. There's a six-inch hole in the bottom of that barrel. Who said skids were for kids? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is a pretty fancy bird bird. Good. He can see it, so give him a wave. All right, Otto. Good job. But I'm still not going to let you have the world's record, so uh, put the barrel back down. My goodness gracious. He actually was able to lift that barrel up and put the skid through a six-inch hole? You know, I like to say that Roger doesn't fly the helicopter. He wears it and just takes it up for a dance. Is that... My goodness. What a, what, a, what skill. That is awesome. Now, he can't stand it up, though, can he? You think? Amazing! Look at that, guys! Give it up! All right, Arno! Yeah. Hey! All right, smoking! Hey! Can you do one more thing better than an airplane? Well, you go take care of that business right now, okay? While Roger's doing that, guys, I have got to tell you a little bit more about him. Roger, based out of Baker, Florida, 18 Fox Delta, close to Pensacola, single rated, multi-engine rated, fixed wing, land and sea, and rotorcraft helicopter, type rated in the BH-47 and Citation Jets. And as he said earlier, he's flown everything, but he likes helicopters for what they do. Roger also holds an A&P certificate. He's been flying for 28 years and has amassed over 18,000 flight hours, most of them low and slow. Otto is a Schweitzer 300C, certificated as the 269C, the original airframe designed by the famous aviator, Mr. Howard Hughes. Before Otto, there was another helicopter clown named Bozo, believe it or not. In 1948, Harry Truman, then president, commissioned a team of helicopters to recruit pilots for the Korean conflict and to show the maneuverability of the helicopter. And as we've seen today, they sure do fly differently than an airplane. Bozo, with the United States Army Silver Eagles, performed through the downsizing of the Army after Vietnam in 1976 when the team was disbanded. Bozo worked a yo-yo and we're proud to carry on that legacy. The airframe itself has a military background as the TH-55 Ace Osage, primary trainer for the Air Force and Army pilots from 1964 through 1987. Vietnam pilots fondly called it the Mattel Messerschmitt, for although it looks like a toy, it's as maneuverable as the German World War II Messerschmitt. Igor Sikorsky, inventor of the helicopter, said, if you're in trouble anywhere in the world, an airplane can fly over and drop you flowers, but a helicopter can land and save your life. And that's just one thing that helicopters do. Right now, I would like to pay tribute to our veterans. For we know that freedom does not come free. The blessings that we have as Americans were and are paid for. And our servicemen and women are paying for that freedom as they fight and win the war on terrorism in Iraq and Afghanistan today. Right now, I ask that all World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and our active duty National Guard also please stand up. Wave your hats and hands. We salute all of you who served and have served our great country. Let's have a rousing cheer for our veterans and our homeland heroes. And Otto, flying his banner backwards. Yeah, there's a lot of sacrifice going on with all the families, not just the soldiers, airmen, sailors, marines, and coasties themselves, but all of their families have sacrificed as well. And I really do appreciate what the skipper said earlier about that too, with a moment of tribute to those Fort Hood. We were stationed out there for four years. 
This graceful banner drop. Beautiful. All right, get your cameras ready for one last photo pass. Putting his best face forward. I'd like to shake, thank all the Air Show volunteers and sponsors who bring us the show. Our national sponsors, Aeroshell, Aces Systems, Blue Angel Aviation for our fabulous avionics based right here in Pensacola, Sennheiser headsets, Concord batteries, Wheel and Lighting, CJ Aviation, and Aileron's Mutt Muffs. Signing off, back to you now, Rob. Give Roger a wave, guys, as he flies by. And God bless you. God bless America. Thank you, Pauline Bias. A nice round of applause for Otto, the helicopter. Roger Bias and Pauline Bias. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rob. And take it away to one of the best air show announcers I know. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. Hey, we finish up with that great theme from MASH where the helicopters surely became uh, a significant part of all the operations of